Good evening, everybody. This is Johnny Seville from Acorn Wealth, and this is your executive summary for stock setups for the 18th of May. And wow, do we have a uh, summary for you tonight? Uh, of course, the a quick look at the S&P 500. We're seeing beautiful action. Um, the rally that we saw yesterday um, up on 3.5 billion shares went straight into the moving average and bam, down on 4.11 billion shares, almost a 20% increase in volume as we start to uh, look like this head and shoulders is more and more of a reality. Remember, we called this head and shoulders back on April 19th and so far, perfect. Um, really happy. The money flow continues to make lower lows and lower highs, which is exactly what we want to see, even though the trend line remains up. So it uh, looks like this uh, is building in a pretty much perfect storm, <laughs> as we call it. Um, that, of course, we talked last night about the Dow Jones transports. Uh, those have continued to be divergent. Um, beautiful move on the on those you can see this sharp spike upwards today and that trailing down of course money flow continuing to go lower on the Dow Jones transports despite the higher close of 0.6 percent so um, but money flow is going the opposite way so um, really really uh, great things to see so um, tonight what I'm going to do is I'm going to start out we've got three new potential shorts I've got um, some earnings plays and and uh, a, a couple of uh, well an earnings play and a couple of uh, normal uh, potential options as all stock plays. Um, so one of the things I wanted to show you is, is just kind of the thought process I've gone through um, tonight. Uh, I was having a look at the insider and buy sell ratio by industry in the past 30 days and something that jumped out to me that I've been that I haven't seen in a long time was um, I mean, you can see, you know, obviously the red is how much selling is going on in all the different industries. So major industries of selling are application software, catalog and mail order houses like eBay, um, personal products. Okay, and, and not much else. But then you scroll up to the top and then bam, something really jumps out. REITs um, in office space, REITs in retail, and hospitals. And um, I thought, well, that... Uh, is worth investigating a little bit. So I went in and looked at all of the different, um, look, looked at over at Finviz and looked at all of the stocks in the hospitals industry. And uh, I then sorted it to have a look at any insider selling that's been occurring. And uh, there's the, here's the 13 stocks in the industry. And you can, in, under insider transactions, you don't see a lot until, oh, hang on, right there, negative 90.91% change in the insider selling. So I thought, all right, let's have a look at this stock, HCA Holdings. So I went over and looked, went into Insider Cow and pulled up the insider transactions, and this blew me away. Um, these are, we're looking at 3.4 million shares at 80 bucks, 1.2 million shares at 80 bucks um, from ASF Walter Co. Investment GP, uh, KKR funds, millions of shares at 80 bucks. Um, we go down, look at the insiders themselves, as senior VP, provider of relations, senior VP, chief ethics officer, senior VP and general counselor, CVP, SVP, sorry, of corporate affairs, um, the Officer of Group President, Senior Vice President and CIO. I mean, just go down the list and you can see all basically from March through May, millions and millions and millions of dollars and millions of shares all being sold. And that's where that insider selling of basically the entire industry has just come through. So um, uh, I haven't been able to account for that through any of the research I've been doing. It just seems to have come. So um, I flipped over and had a look at the chart. And um, you can see that uh, basically we've rallied up from a low of around 60 bucks in a momentum fashion. And all of that seems to be breaking down. So um, essentially, We've got this one last little bit of support here that we're touching on, but if we break down below the low of this at 76.83, uh, I think game on. So um, I was looking at the puts here uh, on HCA. Uh, I think this could um, uh, could quite likely kind of, uh, again, we, we've got this kind of possible trend line here that we've already broken. Um, you know, look, I think that if we go back and have a look at the the, the history, there's a long way this could fall. If you look at back to uh, 2011, um, that was down at 20 bucks. Uh, so the the, um, the 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 room beneath this to fall out is 
is potentially very deep. Um, so uh, I was looking kind of a, a, you know conservatively at the the eighty dollar September puts, which are currently four dollars fifty. There's about two thousand um, open interest on those, but um, you know th this could be also a one of those kind of uh, potentially very speculative positions. We could also even look at the uh, the. Let's have a quick look here. Yeah, no, I think I'd probably still stick with the. Uh, oops, so I'm looking at the puts. Uh, sorry, wrong side here. One second. Yeah, I could even look at some of the um, the look at say for example the 55 or 57.50 um, puts on this uh, the sep around September, which are 38 cents for the uh, 55s and uh, 64 cents for the 57.50s. So that could be a good kind of speculative um, way to look at it. Um, when you can see these uh, puts here, again, these are the September 16th uh, puts on uh, on HCA, if things go completely to hell in a handbasket. So um, that's what I thought worth uh, bringing to your attention, because um, when you start to see a chart like that, um, it's uh, very, very interesting. Looking at the weekly chart, let's see what we can see there. Uh, you can see this... Um, uh, this long-term building of the momentum, that it's especially if we break 60 bucks, that would be um, pretty catastrophic for the stock. Okay, so um, let's move on. The um, the next is a potential earnings play, and it's is on SNPS. They report after market tomorrow, which is um, Wednesday, so Wednesday night. Um, uh, you can see that they basically have they're in the tech technology sector. They have been um, they built off a rally uh, early on in the year from thirty nine dollars and up up to forty eight dollars. So there, if if this has a, a surprise, uh, obviously we could get a, a nice drop. Um, I'd be I'd be still looking into June. I'd be looking at the um, uh, the fifty dollar June puts. So get looking at basically in the money. There's reasonable volume on those today, and uh, those are currently priced at two sixty. And again, if we look at the um, the insiders. We can see we had a very big chunk uh, selling off right there in March around the $47 price. And of course, we're right at $47 now. So um, that I think is a, a, a worthwhile punt. And um, and uh, the, the other one uh, that has that kind of that, that attractive insider selling. Now, the other one that um, we looked at here is WAB. Um, for this one, um, well, I'm looking for a target. So, I mean, all of these are stock tradable as well, by the way. Um, uh, I'm just talking about the options, but of course, the, the prices that we're at, looking at are, are very valid for stock trades as well. So don't think that if you, you know, don't trade options, these are not um, good things for your watch list. Uh, but um, obviously, I'm talking about the options because those are the ones I'm looking for for those big potential returns, um, big potential risk too, but again, that's, um, that's options. But uh, with WAB, I'm looking at this as a target of 67.33 from where we're currently at at 77.25. So basically a $10 drop. And um, I'd be looking at the uh, October $75 puts, which are currently priced at $4.40. Okay, so um, in moving into tonight's review session, um, of course, uh, one of my favorites that I bought a bunch of puts in last week um, from my alert that I sent out on... Uh, on Thursday night, um, DLTR. This one is just breaking down beautifully. Um, those options were up 210% and 60% respectively, the ones we alerted on Thursday night. Um, pulled back yesterday and then straight back down today. So looking really, really good. Um, I'll, br I'll go through some of these reviews here. Chef, uh, also one of our very recent alerts um, from last week on Wednesday, May 11th, I believe. The alert was from 16, uh, the 1650 area uh, down to a target of 1331. And um, this one has just, uh, again, we talked about this in the, the uh, summary last night that we sent you, uh, that it was just closing really low in the range, not being able to get any lift through the moving average, and that we expected this to push through, and bam, down 3.91%. Now, it is thin volume, only a couple hundred thousand shares a day, but it is trading $15. So, I mean, unless you're tr buying, you know, $100,000 worth of stock, I mean, if you're only putting 5, 10, you know, whatever grand in, that can still fit into a million, two million dollars a day without being, uh, in my opinion, you know, um, 
too thinly traded. So I don't look at the volume, I look at the value of the volume. So if it's a $1 stock trading 100,000 shares a day, very different from if it's a 15, 20 or $50 stock trading 200,000 shares a day. So um, Chef I think looks really great and I have um, quite a lot of confidence that that would uh, reach the 13, uh, 10 target. Um, of course, uh, having a look at this gap, you can see that the, the gap has now been broken. That was what we were waiting for. Now it's in new territory, nothing really that I can see to hold it back from dropping further now. Um, Sun. Another one from the uh, stock report, looking beautiful. Um, it's just hugging that resistance perfectly. And I guess uh, the entry criteria was 33. And we were looking at the um, uh, the September $30 puts. So right now that's, um, that's, that's shaping up nicely. Um, Canada Pacific, another um, Dow Jones transport stock, just like WAB, by the way. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. One of the alerts tonight that we mentioned before, WAB also... A, um, a railroad stock. So this is the transport play that we're talking about. So there's WAB. That was the uh, one I mentioned earlier for the 60, excuse me, October uh, $75 puts. And um, and CP, also the other one, Canadian Pacific. Again, you can see this in both stocks, that strong divergent money flow going straight down. So that's looking really, really good. Um, closing again in the bottom half of the range, just continuing to free fall. Um, VSAT, uh, an update on this one. This was one we were, we were looking for for an earnings play, waiting to uh, get confirmation of the earnings date. It is no longer this week. It has actually been announced that this will be the 24th of, uh, of May. So we're looking at this as an earnings play for selecting the June $75 puts, which are currently, uh, last trade was $3. So that would be my earnings play on VSAT. Again, this one looks really good as we look at the money flow, just diving out and then turning over. Really good movement on the money flow for a potential short short. Uh, DLPH. Um, <laughs> it's just beautiful. Um, again, I get, we talked about the August 2016 $62.50 puts. These are up from $2 to $2.50, so up uh, 25%. Um, that's just started to really rock and roll. This should just continue falling, uh, I hope. Uh, looks really good so far, though. SBNY, another one from the report that's now looks looking like it's ready. Uh, this one was the September 2016 $120 puts that we'd highlighted. That looks like it's ready to drop. Uh, everything's kind of coming around perfectly um, as far as we can see it. eBay, another one that we'd alerted, which looks like it's now beginning its drop. Uh, again, these were the October 2016 $23 puts. Um, at uh, $1.44 we'd alerted those at. That's looking good. Money flow continuing to diverge negatively. Um, everything we want to ask for is happening. And of course, the big one, um, one that uh, I think every coach in Acorn Holds puts in, um, as far as I'm aware, so I certainly know that myself, Strath, and Kyle all own puts in this one. This one has earnings in the morning, so uh, if we have a good gap down, I'll be ready to sell. I own the, the May puts in this, so um, I'll be looking to get out uh, on a big drop of weakness or any kind of reversal in the stock. Um, or if it just keeps dropping, I'll hold, but um, any kind of reversal, then I'll be getting out and taking profits. But this one's already up in the triple digits, so um, uh, uh, waiting with it with anticipation for what happens in the morning. Second last one, uh, GT, Goodyear Tire, again, another one of my favorites that I hold a bunch of puts in. It's It just continues to drop, um, and this one we're looking for a much lower target to break down from that bigger head and shoulders I've been talking about in each of the executive summaries. Looking beautiful so far, money flow dropping lower than it's been since uh, 2015 levels. Uh, is it even that low? even lower. So money flow on Goodyear Tire is, is, is back to the levels it was at essentially when it was down at 20 bucks. <laughs> so seeing as 22 bucks, 21, 22 bucks is our target, I'm really happy to see that. So Goodyear Tire's rubber is coming off the road by the looks of it. Um, and last but not least, ZUMZ hit its first target today. Um, now this was one where we'd selected the May $20 puts 
um, and the May 1750 puts. So those hit their target today. Um, those the May twenty dollar puts were up from two dollars twenty five to five dollars twenty five, and the May seventeen fifty puts we selected up from ninety cents to three dollars twenty seven. So um, that was from April fifth. So not bad for a month to be in a month and a bit if you uh, got into those to be up uh, uh, well over three hundred percent on those uh, on those um, May seventeen fifty puts. And uh, hey, a hundred percent plus on the May twenty puts ain't anything to shake a stick at either. So um, for that, that is your executive summary. I'm sorry that was a bit longer than normal, but there is a lot happening. And again, if you are not a fully fledged gold member, we send out you know one, one free report each week, and um, this will be the last one for this week. So uh, if you want to continue receiving these updates, uh, don't miss the next one. These could be epic markets. You can simply sign up for a nine dollar trial by going going to acornwealthcorp.com forward slash gold for all the details. So um, we'll see you all in the next summary, everybody, and looking forward to a wonderful market ahead. Take care and happy trading.